Uh, this is going to be Reptile Room Tour number 4 um, and I'm going to show you my current setups and collection so in here I have my two fire bellied newts next to my bed on this thing here uh, yeah I've had these quite a while they were getting on good I'll just um, show you one of their red bellies so, yeah that's why they're called fire belly newts um, and yeah, they get on really well. They've been eating fine. Um, water level comes up to about here, as you can see. They've got their rock background. They've got plenty of plants to hide in. So they feel nice and secure. And yeah, they're doing good. Filter around there. There's the other one. Uh, they're called Maggie and Sal. So yeah, that's their names. That one's on the move. So that's those. Moving around here. Not quite reptiles, but um, that's what I feed to my reptiles. Is the crickets. Uh, this is the feeder crickets in here. There's quite a lot in there. Um, up here is the breeder crickets. These, um, they've got a lay box. They uh, lay lots of eggs. I'll show you their babies that they've produced in a minute. Also down here, I have the um, mealworm babies that I produce myself. I it's very easy to breed mealworms. I'll do a video about it and put it up soon. So that's those guys. Um, they we move around to um, the three foot tank. Uh, this has got two adult leopard geckos in it, two adult females, um, and what I do with these guys. Is a substrate is tile. They got a place to hide on the cool side, a place to hide on on the warm side. Um, hollow log to hide in. Got the water bowl, the calcium dish, loads of stuff. Shed box. Um, and there, yeah, there's two adult females in here. If I could just, uh, there's a the chocolate albino female. Not great lighting because it's a really sunny day and it's all shining in on the tanks but um yeah so this is a chocolate albino female she's really cool that's just a shot of her put her back in there and then my other female who is a normal oh she's in here that's her there Chances are I'm not going to be able to get her out because once she gets in this log it's really annoying to get her out but that's her in there there's footage of her in my other videos so go back they've also got a light in there it's attached to a thermostat that keeps the temperatures perfect so yeah that's my two adult female leopard geckos she's just a normal she's called Betty that one's called Bindi so that's them she's on the move Moving up one is my male leopard gecko. He's in this tub now, which is great. I had to spare one of these, so I just thought I might as well put him in. Uh, this tub, like my other tubs, is two foot long by one and a half foot deep. Uh, he's got tile. All this white powder is his calcium, which um, growing geckos need lots of calcium. So he's also got a water dish, plants, log, hide. I'm also disinfecting some logs at the moment for him. That's in there. He is a hypo. Oops. He is a bit hypo as well. But um that's him. Lots of spots on his head, lots of spots on his tail, but um none on his body. Which is really nice. So that's him. Put his tank out off. Haven't got a name for him yet. He's the only one that doesn't have a name out of everything. So, but I'll think of one soon. So that's him. He should be ready for breeding. I don't know about five, six months. Next to him, who he shares a big two foot long heat mat with. 
is Echo. She's a female. Had her quite a while now. I've got water dish, calcium dish. Hide on the cool side, hide on the warm side. Plants. Same sort of setup, just a little bit smaller. And then she's in on her own. She doesn't really get on with the other geckos. Um, and that's her there. Um, she normally just sit in your hand really still, but she's in the mood for walking around today. But that's her. She's just a normal as well. So I'm going to close the lid back up. That is one of the uh, Exoterra large fornariums, the large flat one. Also, um, I keep the baby crickets in a large fornarium. I uh, don't know if you can see them. There's quite a lot in there. But um, they're not moving around at the moment. Oh, yeah, there's some there. Uh, they have a heat mat as well to um, incubate the eggs, make, make them uh, hatch out quicker. So I'm not going to open that tub because it's just annoying. But, um, yeah, let's take that heat mat off of there. I have another one of these tubs. This has got three juvenile female leopard geckos in together, and this is plenty of space for them. So they got plant to hide in. They got a shed box there. They got a cool hide there. They got plants there. Hide on the warm side. Another hide on the warm side. It's really nice. Temperatures about 90 around this sort of area. And it's probably about 80 around here. I've got a digital thermometer that I put in their tanks like every other day just to make sure the temperatures are great. I also have dial thermometers just to give me a rough idea. So, oh, where are they? No. Here we are. They're all in one hide together. Which is annoying because it's the hardest high to work. Oh, there we go. So this well this is Gizmo. Whoa. She's a female that I already had. Um get a good picture of her. Yeah, she's really orange, really nice orange colour to her. She's losing her spots in her back, which is good as well. And that's her. And then we have over here. Bo, she isn't eating, which isn't great. She hasn't really eaten since I got her, but hopefully I'll be able to get her eating very soon. Then here's the other female down here. She's not got any claws on any of her toes, um, which is quite strange. She's called Scratchy. Um, really nice colours on her as well. She does like to bite though, which isn't great. Nice spots in her head. So I'm just going to put her back in there. If you got any sort of videos, anyone you want to see a bit closer um, or anything like that, then just send me a message. I'll do that video for you. Um, but yep, yeah, there's the females in there. So I just they got the calcium and water dish as well. Got it real quick now. So that's them. Let me just they have a heat mat under them. Then last but not least, my raw python doth. He is in another one of these tubs. Aspen bedding, a water dish, cork bark to hide under. Hide on the warm side and on the cool side. We got um, loads of logs for him to hide in, loads of plants for him to hide in. He's got a heat mat under here, and then he's got a digital thermometer, and he is under here. I'm not going to pick him up because he ate last night. He's not in the best of moods. But yeah, that's just a quick look at Duff. Just get him out in the sun a bit. So that is him, and. Uh, that's my reptile collection, so thanks for watching.